hello everyone how are you guys doing today i'm going to be making my birthday cake but i'm going to be making the lazy man type dough so i got this cake mix from the shop and this is what i'm going to be using i'm going to bake vanilla flavor um chocolate flavor and um, the red velvet but then i'm going to be using their own instruction this cake that i'm making with this mix with this cake mix i'm going to be using about four eggs for each pack i'm going to be using my ooh, my olive oil and i'm going to be using this milk so let's get started so in here i'm cracking in four eggs then i'm going to be adding my milk which is 400 mils using my measuring cup so i'm using this first cup which is 250 mils 180 and i can't remember the other one and i'm also using 400 mils of my olive oil you can actually use any oil of your choice you can use the canola oil any oil anyway some persons might decide to just melt their butter and use so i'm using my hand mixer to mix it properly before adding my cake mix i started with the vanilla so i'm adding it bit by bit and using a low speed in mixing it this is very easy stress-free like the way i loved this cake mix it was so nice this is my first time of actually using a cake mix and it came out so nice even the texture is wow the sugar in it is wow i did not add any other ingredient like the baking powder sugar and all of that everything is mixed in and this is it i'm putting it in the oven which was already preheated in this pack of vanilla sorry red velvet it has icing sugar the cupcake cups and the cake mix which is very small but this one it's using water instead of milk which is 200 mils so i will just mix it a bit before adding the cake mix this one is actually smaller than the other ones you see the red velvet is velvet <laughs> yeah it's actually velvet and the texture is a little bit thicker to the um, vanilla one i mixed earlier the red velvet tastes good but i couldn't use it when i was um icing the cake please guys i'm not a professional cake maker but i think i'm doing my best because i did um, a foundation phase in cake baking for some weeks which i'm just using to explore so now i'm making the chocolates the other cake is ready the vanilla and the red velvet so i'm using the same measurement i used for the vanilla because it's the same gram four eggs 400 mils of oil and 400 mils of milk so you mix 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 and put i'm actually making this cake two days before my birthday which was um june 11th i didn't have the time to edit since that's why i'm posting this video now i've been very busy so this is it 
this one is going back to the oven now while i prepare for other things that i'm going to be using for the cake as well i actually baked this for around 30 minutes or more i didn't actually calculate the time that i baked it with sorry the time i baked it for you see the other one but the red velvet got broken it was heartbreaking because i couldn't use it while icing so the cake has already cooled down i've missed my what is it icing sugar and my butter i never knew that i had less icing sugar in the house so i just made use of what i have yeah so let me scrape 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 the upper part of the cake got burnt i don't know what about what i was doing and i allowed it to get burnt but it was crunchy we still ate part of it though this was the tasting tasting part of the cake yeah i'm trying to be a professional here <laughs> okay oh, scrape 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 my batter that was going to use to layer the cake it's so watery because i had less icing sugar but then i did not finish it because it was kind of much and as a beginner in cake baking that i am i still did one or two kunukos like i did one or two things to make sure that the cake came out so good and nice don't mind me or me i have so many things to do cake with though it's just that i'm being lazy these days to just be being my practicals if not maybe by now i would have become a professional so this is it i'm just layering um putting this mix i don't know what to call it though so i can layer the cake i tried managing the red velvet but it was not working it kept on breaking so i had to take it out we ate that one separately and i had to take it out to just use this two step it's fine it's big enough after i'm not making a party i'm just baking to snap my birthday picture with and for my kids and family to enjoy that mommy is celebrating actually the birthday was for two persons for me and my husband because both of us are june babies i'm june 11th and he's june 16th so practically this is our birthday cake and we are not inviting anybody we only did it a small party we did it as a family party just to enjoy ourselves alone no money for big party because calling people is another expenses on its own yeah so now i'm going to be using an already made fondant i got this from the shop from a cake shop it's 5 kg fondant but i'm not going to use all I'm using this corn floor to floor to put on the floor where I'm going to ice the mix the icing or ice the cake yeah whichever way and these are my design the edible spirits the colors the happy birthday and uh, yeah everything here is edible so this is how the fondant comes they tighten the plastic before putting it in the um, rubber it's kind of hard so i'm using a knife to cut it out this is the texture this is how it looks like it's so white so nice i don't know how they mixed this one but i think this is the best um icing i can use because i've not really learned how to make fondant icing myself so I need more lessons on my cake baking. So this is it. I'm making, what is it called? A marble cake with three colors, 
kind of ash black blue and white so let me see how the marble will marble itself so i'm using the blue color first because it's a liquid color i'm just going to be adding it bit by bit so it doesn't get too much or rather too dark so i'll mix 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 it to quite a little bit of time but then i was still i i got it right i was happy with the outcome of everything so i kept on dusting my hands with the corn floor or rather corn starch this one is done i'll set it aside wash off the color blue from my hands then mix the is it a black or ash yeah it's a black food coloring but when you put it light it will become ash when you pour more of the food coloring it will become black yeah that's it so i just added mm, quite a little bit not so much but i noticed that adding more of the food coloring was making the icing sugar sticky but also using the cornstarch to flour the floor made it come out nice yeah you see so i washed my hands again and came back for the white color you see if you leave the icing sugar out for too long it begins to dry up that's another thing i noticed about this i don't know if the one we make the liming the fondant we make by ourselves behaves this way as well but with this if you leave it out for too long it dries up on its own so this is how i'm going to mix the colors the both white on the edges the blue and the black ash so you just twist and twist this place was a bit stressing me but at the time i was seeing the colors were coming out nice and i was seeing it coming out better so you just twist 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 you don't have to mix it because i'm making a marble cake so i just need to twist it round then turn it again and twist then press it together try to cover up those gaps yeah most professionals they know how to do this thing better but because i'm still a baby in cake making i was finding it a bit difficult this is my first time of making a marble cake very first time i've actually used this type of icing sugar before but it was a plain cake with just a, a little bit of writing and a little bit of designs on it so i started rolling it out my working space is kind of small yeah the working space is kind of small but at this stage i was smiling because my marble icing is marbling yeah i was feeling the vibe already my kids were hyping me hey mom it's coming out nice you're doing nice but it was still breaking so i was looking for a way to patch patch it but i made a very big mistake when i was putting this um icing sugar or whatsoever on the cake the part i wanted to use was this part on top of it which the color was better which i preferred but while i was turning it like lifting it and putting it on the cake i went and used the wrong side you see i used the wrong side and i couldn't do anything else 
I I wanted the other side, but I used the wrong side. I didn't want but what will I do? Let's try and do it. Let's see the outcome. Okay, so now I need to use my hands to flatten it before using my is it Tyler? I don't know what it's called. All those their are accessories to flatten the icing on the cake properly. So at this edge, I made a mistake. I didn't know what to do when combining these edges. I just had to think of something, folded it in, and that was it. So here, I've done all the, I've, I've covered it. So I'm going to use this edible spirit and this um, gold color, food coloring, to just put a little bit of design to make it nicer. So I added a little bit of the food coloring in my plates and the edible spill just mix it a bit. Let it not be too watery though. You see, it's not that watery. Then you use your brush to just put the lines anywhere you feel like. This particular part took me almost one hour to do because i'm not an artist neither am i a professional that can be fast about this i also noticed that the more i wasted time the speed the edible spirit was drying up that's this gold color in my plate was drying up so while it was drying up i kept on adding the edible spirit to it this is the outcome of my cake guys i'm so happy I made this cake it came out so nice the taste of the cake is top-notch the icing of the cake it's so nice and happy birthday to me this is me celebrating my birthday happy birthday we've devoured the cake this is it Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I really love you guys. Bye.